care about is Nucleus is better than Pied Piper. You need serious funding to go up against Nucleus. We're getting Pied Piper out there. Synergy, bitches. You know what that means? We're taking a stack of cash and lighting them. Hold on, stream. Uh, stream um, gotta get the overhead. Oh, shit, on. <laughs> yeah, we are. I didn't even know. I'm over here acting like a fool. <laughs> Boom. Oh, we need the uh, iPad. Where's the iPad? So we can see chat. Okay, I'll get the iPad in a second. Back to. I like to drink before I fly. Do you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Joe, I think that's illegal. You are not supposed to drink and fly. I do what I want. It's space. What am I going to run into? Actually, some asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> run into some asteroids. She came out of nowhere. <laughs> Especially with this thing, I won't be able to see. Get this overhead cam going. I forgot my Twitch password. Log in. Oh, you know what? It's not the overhead cam. <laughs> the overhead cam is good to go. What it do? is, is the rebel cam. Gotta get the rebel cam going. The rebel cam got knocked out. Those fucking uh, rebels. Those fucking rebel counter spies are trying to hide their fleet. How dare you, Joe? I'm ready this time. Now that we know the rules, That's you won't cheat. Cheating. He's choking me. kind of problems right now that don't make no damn sense. Woo! Rebel cam active! Finally. <laughs> Rebel cam is a go! There are your fucking ships! You fucking trying to hide from me? You. What do we have in chat today? We got Tupac. Tupac. Adam. We got SpongeBob in the house. We got Evil Lemon. Fair Fox. Red Comet, of course. Utaku Girl. We got Sinister. B. 
Bib Fortuna, OJ, you sick? You look orange. Uh, very clever. <laughs> We got Fluffy in the house. <sighs> I promise I will defeat him this time. I know what I'm doing now. I'm not gonna go crazy. Did the uh, you, did you know that there's a that the stormtroopers have a little bit of an issue sitting <laughs> down? I so didn't you know never that. sit down. You never see him sitting, do you? You got the iPad before you sit down completely. Son of a bitch. You can't sit down completely. <laughs> Are these the droids I'm looking for? Too much for you. What's up? Alright. Got everything? Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Don't break it. It's a rental. <laughs> I feel like my boobies are way out there. Stormtroopers have problems sitting. No wonder the Empire fucking lost. <laughs> they always had wedgies. I'm gonna change that today. Next gen, what's up? To oh, yeah. No. <laughs> that. Today, that's changing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, sir. Let me see your security clearance. Let me see your security pass. Joe, do you have Jedi mind trick powers? Uh. Yeah. Joe, where are your buttons? <laughs> well, see, the place we rented this at. Forgot some stuff. Obviously, you guys know I'm missing beep, beep, beep. my controls. Which one of these buttons calls to uh, calls your mom to come pick you up? <laughs> Shut up! Beep, beep. <laughs> Whoop your ass! <laughs> you, no, you're not. Yeah, look, man. Welcome, guys, to the Star Wars Armada stream, where with Imperial Joe and Rebel Joe mm -hmm. in a death match. To the death! <laughs> so, somebody apparently let a stormtrooper drive <laughs> a victory class Star Destroyer. I got, I got clearance. I'm just taking it out for a stroll. I'm taking it out for a spin. Don't tell uh, Grand Admiral, you know, Moff. He'll, he'll get fucking pissed. Please don't tell him, Joe. I'll tell go him. easy on you. Alright, guys. I want you to. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the stream and welcome to uh, Angry Joe's Table Time or a temporary name until I find a cooler name. Uh, on tonight's um, episode, we're going to be playing obviously the Star Wars miniatures game that just released. Um, I love miniatures games, I love fucking Star Wars, and I'm here to tell you this one is fucking awesome. Me and Joe already played last week, yeah. so we played wrong a little bit. Apparently, Joe's X-Wings fire won. I with, won. with four dice. Four. Uh, Joe's X-Wings fire with four dice instead of one, so he would have tore through all my TIE Fighters. Uh, and that's what rebels do, honestly. They tear through TIE fighters like they're paper and then probably swarmed my victory. But now that I know that's going to happen, I'm going to play it a little bit safer. So um, let's talk a little bit about the game and then get started. I am really extremely impressed uh, with the miniatures. They come pre-painted. The ships come pre-painted. And the fighters come unpainted because they're so small. But you can paint them if you want. I plan to paint them just to give this game the extra pizzazz. And uh, what I find so uh, awesome about this game and, and um, fascinating and very unique and innovative is the bases. If you notice these bases, they have uh, these dials that you can spin. Uh, and what that is, is basically every ship is gonna have a shields rating. And uh, so you set your shields rating at the beginning of the game. Go ahead, Joe, and set your shields rating. And the shields rating that he's going to be setting depends on the particular type of ship. Seven. And you, 
You get up. Shut the hell up. You ain't got no seven shields. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, dude. Look at my Is that right? God damn it. <laughs> it says three shields in the front, one in the sides. Ooh, he's weak in the sides. And two in the back for the uh, Nebulon. No weakness. There's no weakness over here. Yeah, there's weakness on your sides. <laughs> I know that now. Um, so go ahead and set your shields Already also did. for the Karelian Corvette. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to be playing the introductory scenario, which is basically just a standard death match. Uh, so I think it, things are a little bit in my favor. It just depends on how powerful these X-Wings are. You got, a, you got a special name for each one of these squadrons? You guys know my rolling skills. Yeah. <laughs> but you can, uh, you can negate the luck, Joe, with commands. A... So, uh, uh, alternatively, we could have, at the beginning of the game, picked from a lot of different uh, objective cards. You've got red objectives, you've got yellow objectives, and of course, blue objectives, of course, blue objectives. And they're like different type, different mission types. I would have brought three with me, and then Joe would pick one. That's how we do the missions. Or if Joe brought them with him, I would pick one. It's, you know, I think it's whoever is uh, second player. So Joe is going to be first player because he's the Rebels, and I'm going to, I feel sorry for him uh, because his, uh, his helmet is, Joe, put your helmet on. No. Joe, put your helmet on. I can't see with this thing on. Do it. The people want to see. <laughs> I love it. I know. Red leader, red leader, red one. Oh, there's too many of them. Uh, look, I'll meet you halfway. Actually, this thing comes off. What are you doing? It comes off. I can't see with this thing. Look. Luke, why did you turn off your <laughs> tactical? Why did you turn off your... Uh, I can't see your... any. Look, I'll meet you halfway. Are you going to go with the force there? <laughs> I got this. Okay, but you don't get it. I just feel it out. You can go with the force. Joe's going to use the force, and I'm going to use the might of the Imperial Empire. Okay, so let's get started. We already know how to play, and <laughs> oh uh, we'll sort of make a highlight video out of this and throw it up on YouTube uh, for those of you. You gotta who are... play with your helmet on too. <laughs> no way, Joe! I uh, can't yeah. see shit. That's yeah, how... you... exactly. I can't see. I can't look down. <laughs> Not my problem. I can't. I know there's maybe uh, two squadrons. Yep. Sir, <laughs> there's a the radar. Sir, there's a jam on the radar. Sir, the jam radar jam jam. Sorry, the radar jam on the radar. Joe, you know what, rep, what I'm referencing? Yes, sir. What am I referencing? Spaceballs. Yeah. Turn it no one on the radar, radar. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Um, Joe, you have the first turn. You know what to do. Yes. Um, basically, uh, well, let's let's actually let you guys know what to do. Um, eat the phase each turn or round as they oh, call it in this game. Pick. I didn't pick me. Oh right. Okay. So uh, another great and innovative, unique thing about this game is uh, command dials. First, you have your speed dial, right? Set your speed dial to two, Joe. All ships will start the introductory scenario at Done. speed two. So my star destroyer is traveling at speed two, and so are those two ships. And then, depending on how big your ship is, you may have one or more of these command dials. And on the command dial, you see that you can pick between four different special orders. And this is, like, really cool because it's, like, hidden orders. You don't know what your opponent is doing. You're trying to outsmart him. And at the same time, you're trying to plan your turns ahead of time. So because the Star Destroyer is slower, but it could do a lot more, has a lot more crew, I get three of them. But it makes it less... Uh, tactically flexible whereas Joe's rebel ships only have one command dial or two for the uh, um, Nebulon which means he can react a lot quicker so I have to make sure I'm doing the best I can to predict mm -hmm. what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to set that as my first order I'm going to do 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 d do do da do do set that as my second order and next time we're gonna get Dell as Prince Leia. Dell as Princess <laughs> yes. Leia. We'll bring in uh, Dell and uh, <laughs> Slave Leia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. That'd be hot. <laughs> All right, so I've set my command dials. Joe, do you have your yep. command dials sent? You think you're smart? 
I know I am. Oh, yeah? I know I am. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so go ahead, Joe. Uh, you, uh, the, like I said, the, uh, the game is going to consist, uh. in this introductory scenario, of six rounds. I have the counter right here. We're going to start uh, round uh, six. Okay. And... The first phase is called the command phase. That's what we just did. We mm -hmm. set our dials. Next phase is the ship phase. The difference is these are ships and these are squadrons. That's all you need to know. So ship phase, you have the first turn. Move with your first ship of your choice. Six, five, Bam. four, three... <laughs> These gloves are making it hard on me, Joe. One. I tell you what. Uh, uh, well, this, this is making it hard on me. All right, go ahead. Fine with me. <laughs> well, shit. You can't take everything off. <laughs> It's time to whoop your ass. I'm taking the gauntlets off to slap you with them. You know, in Robin Hood Minotaur. <laughs> okay, already move on. It's your turn. It's time to get serious. I'm going to win this. No. Oh, yes. All right, so Joe moved to first ship. Uh, yet another unique thing about the game is this really awesome uh, movement tool. So on his ship card, it tells him basically at what speed, how many clicks he is allowed to click the this uh, maneuver tool. So basically, the faster you're going, uh, the more maneuverable you'll be towards the out outside of the stick. And some some ships are way more maneuverable, so they can maneuver uh, sooner. My Star Destroyer obviously has barely any maneuverability, so I have mm -hmm. to make sure that I'm uh, I'm planning well. So Joe moved his first ship, and then I will let's see. Move your ship. No, remember in the ship phase, you also the first thing you do is re you reveal your command dial. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot that. Okay, so Joe selected concentrate concentrate fire. firepower. I'm save it. Which is a dumb move because there's no ships in range. I'm save it. But Joe is going to save it. That's a unique thing that you can do. So he's basically telling his um, targeting uh, officers ships to coming. make sure to uh, obtain a lock on. So Joe, grab a token. I'm going to go right here. So uh, this is the lock-on token or the uh, concentrate firepower token. It is less powerful than the actual dial, but it has the benefit of you getting to basically put it on your ship and save it for later. Your ship can have up to the number of orders that your command value is. So your nebula on command value is two. So you can only have two tokens on it at once and never one of the same token. Okay, so I'm going to reveal my first command dial and it is repair. And obviously I'm not damaged, so I'm going to take a repair token and I'll move my ship. Mm -hmm. I'm traveling at a speed too. Dun, 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 dun. Din, 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 din. Oh, I better not sing that whole song. <laughs> you have to sing the song. As you move your Star Destroyer, it's imperative that you sing the song. Now, obviously, this is a it's, a... it's actually a victory class. Let me show you this. That's a victory class Star Destroyer. It's actually sort of the smaller uh, Star Destroyer. They are going to be releasing... Uh, the much larger Star Destroyer, the Imperial class later. All right, Joe, move your second ship. Mm -hmm. One thing uh, that we're not doing because we're not in range is attacking. After you reveal your command dial, you you must attack, and then you move. But n nobody's in range right now, so... Ooh, look at this fancy yeah. guy here making a making a turn, huh? Okay. Turn. <laughs> I'm making a right and then another right, and another right. 
Last time, this motherfucker charged me with both his, both his ships and my star He's destroyer. Late, right? He's maximum late. shields, maximum fire. Had to get some sleep. Just <laughs> tore him apart. Yeah, sleep? Yeah. You ain't getting no sleep. You blew up in space. <laughs> no. Your dead body is sleeping okay. in space. All right. So, what was your command dial? Reveal your command dial. Concentrate. Concentrate firepower, and I guess you're gonna take a token. Mm-hmm. All righty. Coming for you, son. Now. That was essentially the ship phase. So we've been we've done the command phase, which is selecting our orders secretly. We've done the ship phase, which is move our big capital ships. Now is the squadron phase. Joe, you have the initiative, so he can choose to two move two squadrons, and then I move two, then he moves two, and I move two. Speeds three. Mm-hmm. Joe is uh, appearing to split his forces. He's um, looking like he wants to do a two-pronged attack. Let's see if that strategy works out. That's In my opinion, <laughs> he's dividing himself to allow me to conquer him. Okay, so he moved two squadrons. I will move two squadrons. Now, your speed rating on your X-Wings is what? Three. So his speed is three on X-Wings. My TIE Fighters here, however, move at speed four, motherfuckers. Let me try to simulate the uh, sound of a TIE Fighter. Sound like a dying cat. They do sound like that, Joe. You don't remember the movies? Yeah, I remember. They're like... <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, you know that's fucking good. Somebody give me credit for that. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds exactly like it, Joe. Don't even fucking lie. They said 10 out of 10. See? <laughs> this is the funnest part of the game, by the way, making all the sound effects. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, Joe, move your next two. I <laughs> catch you. Okay, so now we have to reset, though, right? What's that? We got to reset these. Oh, uh, no, you you got to move your next two squadrons. Oh, yeah. Mm. You're not done moving your squadrons. I should have just let you leave your X-Wings behind. Joe's X-Wing pilots are pretty fucking lazy, by the way. Last <laughs> game, <laughs> he didn't train his pilots at all. He was missing I got it this time, right? constantly. <laughs> okay. So that was the fighter phase, where you basically move all your fighters. One, another really cool and unique thing, God, I love this about the game, is that all the bookkeeping is done for you. Oh, a lot yeah. of these uh, space combat games, you're, you're, you're crossing off uh, you know, with a pen so and paper or, or pens. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself more credit than that, Joe. A lot of pen and papers involved, erasing things and putting damage and stuff. But here, it's all done on I the counters. Trust you. So after he activates a fighter squad, he pushes in the tab yeah, yeah, to remind that. himself that um, he's moved the squads. I forgot as well, so I'm going to push in the tabs. Boop, boop, boop. They go from blue to red, from blue to red, blue to red. So now that's the end of the turn. Let me flip this over. Now that that is the end of the turn, we take the initiative token and we flip it on over to the other side, the red, which now matches the red side on all of our fighters, knowing that Man. now all the fighters can move again. Fucking pro, fantasy flight. They've learned a lot because they, they did a, you know, um, a, um, Star Wars X-Wing, which is a more um, uh, blown up scale of this, or no, narrow and focused in scale. All right, so we've moved with our squadrons. Now it is essentially the status phase. Players ready all of their defensive tokens. Mm -hmm. Now each ship also has defensive tokens, things like brace for impact, evade, um, um, modulate your shields, you know, or it's like you're transferring power from the rear shields to the front shields. Really cool shit like that that's very thematic for your capital ships. But since none of us used any of those tokens, we don't have to refresh them. Uh, and then flip over the initiative token. Done. Right? So now we go and we that is the first turn. Take that counter off. We are on turn two, round two. Joe, you have the initiative. But first we do the uh, command dials. 
Once you uh, place it under any other command dials, not on top, so you have to think ahead. This dial that I'm programming now on a Star Destroyer is going to happen three turns later. So what will I need three turns later, you have to say to yourself. Do I want firepower? Do I want some repair ability three turns from now? Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. You know what Angry Joe's going to do. Hopefully you know. All right, Joe, go ahead. I have to move all two, right? Yes. So your speed, uh, that, that's another thing that's very important with your command dials. Don't forget your speed. Uh, the, the, the way to change your speed is these command dials. Um, last time, Joe never changed his speed and he just flew on right past me and, and, and didn't focus on uh, his piloting skills. His navigator was pretty, pretty shitty. Um, yes. You have to move your full speed unless you reduce your speed with the command dial. Joe, you reveal your command dial first. So what command show uh, the camera closer is that was a squadron squadron okay the squadron order and we have these handy dandy little reference cards Joe did the squadron order activate a number of squadrons at close medium see, range yeah. which would be these two close medium range those squadrons can move and attack normally in the squadron phase squadrons can only attack or move but he issued a special order, launch all fighters, or his uh, his fighter commander is is communicating with red red leader and blue leader uh, to do their shit. So go ahead. Okay. Well, so he gets to do that. Uh, he gets to do that immediately. I could save it. Or you could save it if yeah, you want. Yeah. Save it. Okay, he's going to choose a token version instead of the dial. All right, and what else? Now you've reached your maximum command limit on your Nebulion. Or your distance. Nebulon? Yeah. What the? I could hit you. It's pretty far. Fuck you, Joe! Might as well try it. Son of a bitch! I'm going to try it. That, that TIE fighter is moving too fast, he and is. he got in the, uh, the arc of Joe's okay, ship. so... What kind uh, of dice do you roll for anti fighters? Anti fighters, Joe. Uh, that's the Karelian Corvette. You gotta go over here. Is it three? No, that's no, against that's... ships. Member fighters. Uh, two. I got two. So blue. his anti fighter uh, on ships, ships have anti fighter guns and they have main ship guns. Uh, this particular ship gives him two blue dice uh, to roll against fighters. Son of a bitch! I, I maneuvered my fighters wrong. <gasps> Damn it. Thank God, Joe rolled a critical hit, which is ignored for fighters because they're too small, and a accuracy, which is nothing. Essentially a You're blank. You're nothing. <laughs> you missed, bitch. <laughs> All right, I'm taking a little bit of fire from Joe. Yeah. I better respond. I'm going to reveal my command dial. My command dial is a squadron, and I'm actually going to... Uh, let's see, speed four. Hmm. Fuck. Speed four. I could have TIE fighters attack his his ship, but I don't think, unless they're TIE bombers, they're not going to be very effective. So I'm going to save the token just like Joe did. Saving the token, moving my capital ship. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's about to get real. Did right, he Joe. miss? OJ should be in the Stormtrooper outfit. Joe, what do you got? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, Joe. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm moving my next one.
Look at this crazy ass maneuver. Uh, and I chose uh, repair. Okay. You gonna save the token? Yes, sir. Go ahead and grab yourself a repair token. Take these two with. All right. So uh, we alternate activating ships. If a player has obviously more than one ship, he's gonna keep alternate. He's gonna keep activating all his ships one right after the other. If the other player has no ships to activate, we're done with the ship phase. Joe, go ahead with your uh, two squadrons. In the squadron phase, remember you have to move or attack. Right now, we're still too far away from yeah. each other, so. Okay. Joe's X wings are sticking close to the ships. I'm using a shielding tactic with my TIE fighters to make sure that Joe's, um, Joe's X wings don't uh, get in my face. It's going to happen. No. Just let it happen. No. I'm coming for you, Joe. You move two. Two more. It has to be four. Mm -hmm. Two, right? God damn. No, squadrons, uh, I believe, squadrons can move anywhere on the line. They don't have to take the full move. Can move anywhere within okay. distance one through three for X wings. So you can slow it on down. And in that case, yeah, I didn't know that. Um, I probably don't want to get my ass shot off by you. We're going to move a little slower. Okay. Uh, you activated your two. Mm -hmm. Now you got no more fighters left, so I'm going to just activate all the rest of my fighters, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. You know what? We're going to come over here. Sick em, boys. Sick em. Swarm em. The TIE Fighters actually do have a special ability called Swarm. That's what I'm planning to do to Joe. All right, so now all of our fighters are on blue. Go ahead and refresh tokens and flip over the initiative token. Boom, we're back to blue. Um, yes, sir. So now we go to turn three, round three. There's only six rounds, so we're about halfway through now. Or after this turn, we're halfway through. So, command phase. Select your command dial. Let's see. Three turns from now. Probably going to need that. Joe? Here's ready? where it gets interesting. Ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, so obviously this one I'm going to fire. Uh-huh. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use my squad first. Right here. All right, Joe's using a squad token. Activate one squadron. Move and attack with one, one X-Wing squadron. Well, this one's close enough to fire later, right? Yeah. No, I, I moved him out. Just, just pretend that he moved out. Oh, just, what? Yeah. Oh, well, we, we, they can be, he's in range. Yeah, you're right. right. Um, this when, one's not, so he's going to move and shoot. Okay. When, um, when fighter squadrons are within one of each other, they are counted as engaged. I like to call it, they're counted as dogfighting, which means they're tied up, they cannot move. They can just fight each other. So that's how you basically use your TIE fighters as a screen to make sure those X-Wings don't get past. Go ahead. Is he going to move and shoot over here? Okay. Are you within one on that? Yeah. Are you engaging? Okay. Yeah. So this uh, four dice. 
Four dice. Four blue dice. Holy shit. I only have three blue dice. Your X-Wing is going to tear my fucking tie fighters a new asshole. But Joe's really bad at rolling. You're bad. You're bad. You have one extra one, too. So I got one. One Son hit, bitch. and then roll one more dice. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Only one hit, and wow. I already... Uh, you just basically sp spin the counter here. It's almost wow. like you're a click, but not really. You get Yes! Okay. Woo! What I tell you about Joe's pilots, they're I'm drunk. I'm with my ship, then. They're untrained. You're these, untrained. These rebels are fresh. <laughs> fresh right, well, for the pickings. I'm going to fire with my uh, front right here. Okay. This one. Yeah. I get two. Two blue. Two blue. Misses. Oh my god. Both misses. Okay, I'm gonna fire from the side. Now this is no 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 Joe. Um so this you could fire at all squadrons from oh, okay. that one arc, and that's what you want to do. That's and, what I was gonna do uh, then. God damn it. So when a ship can fire at every single squadron within that arc. I shouldn't have helped him. But go ahead. So he's gonna shoot at the second one, one oh, hit on that second fighter. Damn it! What about okay. this one? Come on, I need two hits. I need these two. Don't do it, Joe. Don't do it. <laughs> yes! Woo! <laughs> All right, Joe misses. Joe, you got to lock on, concentrate firepower, do, uh, get your fighters in there. Because you're just shooting at me little pea shooter, anti-fighter guns. Get out of here. All right. Um, yeah, move. Where you going, Joe? I don't know. Where are you going? Away from you. Where are you going, Joe? Away from you. Yeah, you better be scared of the might of the Empire. Yeah. Fuck me on my side. So, um, I am going reverse. Can I go reverse? I'm going to back it up. No. <laughs> I'm backing up. You have no uh, retro engines, retro thrusters. <laughs> Fuck. Back, back, back it up. Back, back, back it up. Right. Woo! All right. Excellent! Joe knows what he's just done. He's put his Nebulon right in my front arc. Uh, go ahead and give me those dice. Whoops. How many you get? So, I'm going to reveal my command dial. Did I choose correctly? Hold on, let's uh, move this. I did. Concentrate firepower. <laughs> and I'm going to use the dial... So concentrate firepower is going to add one attack die of any color that is already in uh, your attack die pool. So the front arc for the Victory 2 class Star Destroyer is three red dice and three blue dice. And I'm going to choose to add an additional... Which dice is better? I'm going to choose to add an additional... Wow, it looks like blue hits more, but red hits harder. So, um, I'll roll an additional, I'll just, I'll, I'll figure it out, but I got a big ass hand of dice, so my front arc to your, hmm, to your side arc, which you would need to trace a line from the yellow dot to the yellow dot, and we are good to go. So your shields are weakest right there. Mm -hmm. mm! Yes, one hit, two hits, three hits. Accuracy. The accuracy die, um, result removes any command dials that Joe re removes one 
uh, command token on Joe's ship. Another critical hit. And I said I'm going to re-roll a red die. Damn it, I shouldn't have chose the red die. <laughs> All right, Joe. Four hits. And the way this works, it, when we deal out damage, is... We do the critical hits first. We deal out a uh, damage card face up, and then one damage, two damage, three damage. So, Joe, four damage total. Okay, I want to use evade. Joe is using a uh, token, a defense token. Evade. And what does evade do, Joe? You, you're at medium range, right? Yes. Yeah. At medium range, choose one attack die to be re rolled. You're critical. Actually, you son of a yeah. bitch. All right, my critical. Two hits! Son of a bitch! <laughs> that blew up in your face, Joe. It did. <laughs> yes. So, I re-rolled a dice. Joe had a chance of maybe me missing a little bit more, but it they ended up... Brace. Being... Brace. Nuh-uh, Joe. Brace. You already chose. You already chose. So, you're taking five hits. It's cute. Okay, your side shields only has a value one, so go ahead and uh, pull that down. Shields down and take four damage. I'll give you these cards. Then he takes these cards and he puts them next to his. That was a huge hit. Teaching the rebels a lesson. Don't fucking get in the front arc of my victory class star destroyer, especially not with the side of your one of that ship. Okay, Joe. That was uh, me, now I gotta move. Boom! Son of a bitch. It's never over! <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> that was a good turn, yes? My turn. Yes. Okay. Well, reveal that one. I'm gonna use this my squad. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna move and shoot. Yeah, move this one. Okay, four dice. Shit. Two hits. Damn it. Two hits. God damn it. Two hits to this guy right here from this guy. All right, down to one. Wait. I need to... Uh... Put everything to three so that we don't yeah. um, fuck up. Okay, then. I know this fighter already took damage because you hit him. Off. I'm attacking right here. Yeah. It's three dice. From uh, your front arc to what arc of my ship? Front to front. Front to front, here front we go. Front to front. How many dice you rolling? Three, Three blues? Carillion Corvette firing. Wait, is it three? Yeah, three in front. Right. Two hits. Three hits. Well, this one's, how come this is different? It's two red. Oh, I would have to flip that card. Yeah, don't worry about it. So we'll read on that one, yeah. Okay. So two red and one blue. Yeah. So there's different types of Karelian Corvettes. This particular type. Yeah, critical on two hits. We flip this card, and it's a more powerful version of the Karelian Corvette. What's that? One critical and two hits. Shit! All right, one critical and two hits. I'm going to use my bra uh Well, let's see what I want to do. What do I want to do? I will. I will brace for impact, which halves his total, rounded down, so two uh, rounded up, 
So I still take two hits. Get rid of the critical. Take two hits. And I will... Can I use two command tokens? No, because you didn't let me. Wait, can you? I don't know, which is why I'm going to look it up. If you can, then I will attack again. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The defender cannot spend any single defense token more than once. He cannot spend more than one defense token of each type per attack. So I can still uh, use oh, different I could types. Use mine. Yeah, you could have used. Son of a bitch, cheater! Joe, don't even lie. I am redirecting some of this damage. No, I'll take all the damage to my front shield. So I'll take two to my front shields. My front shields is zero. Shut up, <laughs> my zero. Front shields is rated at three. So my front shields is down to one. Front shields down to one. I've got, uh, I gotta make sure that this is correct. Three all around. Three all around. The Star, the star Destroyer is pretty well rounded on, on those shields. All right. All right, already attacked. I can't attack anymore. Well, uh, can I? no, consider this. is When a ship fires, it can sh fire from two of its arcs. So Joe did uh, the arc from his front. And does the arc from his side be able to hit? Yes, Joe. Perfect. Your side arc can hit as well. And I fucked up, and I didn't realize that I could have... No, my front arc was too wide. And you're and I couldn't use my side arcs yet. Over here now. Yeah. You're right. Go ahead. What is this side? So Joe is gonna use his side arc on his Karelian Corvette. And I can't use any more of these tokens, right? Um yeah, you already used the token. Okay. Did you use a token here? You uh, used the I dial. used my squad. Yeah, you're all you're you're done. Critical in one hit. Let's actually mm, double check to see if you can spend those tokens. The guy with the tie, this is why I don't have any friends. I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> why is he saying that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I am going to choose to redirect. I'm going to take uh, that damage, one of the damage, mm -hmm. and put it to my side hole. <laughs> So I'm going to take one damage on the front and redirect one of the damage to the side. So my front shields are down. My side shields are at two. Perfect. I shouldn't have told him that. <laughs> then he can fire with both arts. But it's only fair. Yeah. It's only fair. So yeah, that's it with that. Mm -hmm. Now we go to the squadron phase. Okay. And... Um, these uh, fighters are tied up. Tied up, so I'm going to attack with this one. Okay. This one's already used, so I need four. Tagging this one straight ahead. All right, four blue dice. Here comes the X-Wings. One. One hit. I need one more. Yes. One more, come on. This TIE Fighter Squadron has one hit left on it. Miss. <sighs> Woo! Oh, Joe, man. one more squadron. Remember, you activate two. This one's attacking. Oh, it's too far, is it? It might be. Yeah, it's yep. too far. Too far. Yeah. All right. But you can move with him. No, I'm in range. All right, you want to get tied up in dog yeah. fighting? Okay. All right, I will activate two of my TIE fighters. Mm -mm. I think it's um, important for me to tie up his his X wings, so I am going to tie them up 
I'm gonna move practice rolls. this one. Practice rolls. I still suck at it. This oh my one. god. <laughs> I'm gonna tie up that squadron. And I'm gonna shoot at this squadron. What is my shooting value on my one? There it is. Three dice, three blues. Who you shooting at? This guy here. Right. Two hits! Two son of a bitch. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, buddy. And we're gonna move into range here. I'm gonna move your tokens back. And I'll tie this guy up and this. So, got his X-Wings all tied up right now, shielding my ship. Bum, bum, bum. It is now the end of the phase. We are on round four. <sighs> round four of six. Okay. Select Let's your choose. command dial. Oh, first refresh your defense tokens okay. here on your ship. All right. Gosh, I wish the uh, the Star Destroyer could react quicker. <laughs> but they're like the Imperials. They're, you know, military uh, drills. They're pretty much just acting out on their training. Hmm. All right. Okay, let's do this. Flip over the... Oh, already you did. already did. Okay, go ahead and move with the ship. Reveal the command dial. What'd you choose? Squad. Squad. 